Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. We're batter up guys. We're gonna take on the Supreme Court and this is a big one. It's the BSA, the Boy Scouts of America versus Dale 2000. It's gonna be on the test. And if it's not on the test, it's gonna be on the test of life. So let's take a look at the facts of the case, what's the constitutional issue, and most importantly, what's the Supreme Court precedent? And then you can leave it down in the comments below or whether you agree or not. How's that for America? Yeah. All right, guys, let's set context. You have to know the facts of the case, and you should know that James Dale in the 1980s is a Boy Scout in the late 80s. He becomes Eagle Scout, which is kind of like top notch in the Boy Scouts. And then he graduates high school, and he goes off to live his life at college, Rutgers University in New Jersey, where he basically comes out as uh, being gay. He's the co-president of the Gay Lesbian Alliance of Rutgers. And then early 1990, he gives an interview at a function where he talks about gay rights. And when his fellow Boy Scout leaders um, read this article, and he's now an assistant scoutmaster with the New Jersey troop, you're fired. They trump him. They um, fire him because he is gay. So now, New Jersey has a statute. There always has to be a law. There has to be standing. There has to be some kind of law you feel is like... A, you know, behind you. And this basically is a discrimination statute that says in places of a public accommodation, if you're, you know, an organization, you can't discriminate against somebody because of their sexual orientation. Same thing would go for your skin color or for your gender. So he's basically taking them to court. And now we're going to see how he does. We'll take it up the level. Well, we're moving on up. We're moving on up. To the side. So uh, James Dale wins in New Jersey in all of the court cases up to the New Jersey State Supreme Court where the court basically comes out and says, number one, we have a compelling interest here to override the um, right of association that the Boy Scouts are claiming. They have a right to decide who's a member of their group and that the discrimination statute has a compelling interest that overrides that Boy Scout message. And then the other thing the court says is that, you know, their message against homosexuality is very kind of unclear. They don't talk about sexuality in the Boy Scouts and there's no really written rule that says, you know, anything about homosexuality other than um, the leaders of the Boy Scouts of America talking about it. So they're basically siding with James Dale and that's why when it gets to the highest court in the land, it's gonna be Boy Scouts of America versus Dale because Dale at this point is the um, defendant. You know, he's the one who wins and the plaintiffs are charging him in a sense. They're trying to overturn that decision. So now let's travel back to the year 2000 and we're gonna look at the decision, the majority decision written by William Rehnquist, one of the last um, court cases that he's going to um, serve on and write a decision for. And this, of course, is, you know, somebody appointed by Ronald Reagan in the early 1980s that led that court for 20 years. And he's got one last bravo in him. <laughs> So William Rehnquist basically comes out and he says like two or three major things. Um, he's going to side with the Boy Scouts of America. So if you're you know trying to get the question right on the test, there you go. That basically their right to association, their freedom to associate with who they want to to um, ride those other First Amendment rights. You know that's historical. That it doesn't say you have a right to an association in the First Amendment, but the court has ruled over and over in order to enact freedom of speech or freedom of assembly or religion or press or whatever that you have the right to associate with who you want. And this gives basically you know the minority some power to protect themselves against the views of the majority. And now Rehnquist goes on to say that even though the Boy Scouts of America don't talk about homosexuality, that there's an implication, there's an expressive action that the way that they do business wouldn't be able to be done if they allowed or were forced to have gay scoutmasters and gay assistant scoutmasters. That their expressive action, the way that they um, interpret morally straight in their oath, the way that they uh, live their lives, that homosexuality interferes with that and the government forcing them to have a homosexuality as a leader would interfere with their freedom of speech. And that speech is expressive association. So make sure you get that down. Rehnquist basically says, when the presence of the person affects the way that the group has the ability to advocate a private or a public message, 
then you're not allowed to do that. That would be an unconstitutional burden on that freedom of speech, that freedom of association. Now, The Dissent is written by John Paul Stevens. He's a, a liberal who's not going to be on the court for very much longer. And he basically says that, you know, we've always had compelling interests that override certain freedoms. You don't have the right to discriminate. And then he goes on to say that he believes that by discriminating, the Boy Scouts are violating their own principles and that, you know, they have a rule. They're not talking about sexuality. So having somebody that's a homosexuality, if you're not allowed to talk about your sexuality, wouldn't interfere with their ability to deliver that message. So there you go. Right now, that standing stands. And the Boy Scouts of America can discriminate against gays, lesbians, in the upper leadership. So there you go, guys. Tell me what you think down below. We can battle it out, battle it out. That's democracy. We'll see you guys next time that you click my face. And if you haven't subscribed, I don't even know what to say. I don't even want to look at you. I'm not even going to look at you. I'm going to look over there. But I am going to tell you where attention goes, energy flows. We'll see you next time, guys. Video. <laughs>